don't know, Mr. Piggy. Hello, everybody. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. That was an awfully violent way to start the episode. Hello. Um, welcome. I am here on the on the Minecraft Land Party server. And I, I have no idea what I'm going to do. Oh, I can drop that off. I have some nether brick here. So I believe these are nether brick blocks. It's confusing to me. These things are called nether bricks. These things are called nether bricks. Um, there, the difference is there's an underscore in this one. It's very weird. Hello, Mr. Pig. You're not upset at me, are you? Doesn't look like it. So I need to do a lot of work in here. I need to slab all kinds of stuff in here. I put the buttons on top of the walkway here so that things can't spawn on top. But they can still spawn, like, up there and around. And I don't have a great way of getting to all that stuff. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. But there's, like, there's beasties all over the place here. And I slabbed a lot of that stuff down there, but I need to slab up there. Let's go work on that a little bit and see if we can find something to talk about. Oh, hang on a second. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, okay. It's a little dangerous out there. But I have to get out of here somewhere. Hmm. Let's go back around the side. So how are you? I'm not alone on the server, and stuff is... It seems like stuff is spawning in in the, uh, the nether farm there a little bit more frequently since I put the buttons up here, so that's helping at least a little bit. Uh, I'd like to make it a little bit better so that we can uh, get lots of wither skeletons if we want. I don't want to necessarily build an automated wither skeleton head farm but you know maybe maybe that's what we need to do okay i know there are bad guys there so let's drink some fire resistance now get another one prepped so that we can go in and kill ourselves some blazes and see if wow it's just a mess hi Yeah, okay, let's take care of some of these guys. I should probably get my smite axe out. So if I accidentally smack one of these pigmen, we don't have a big problem. Okay, I'm nervous about that guy standing amidst the other uh, pigmen. Hello, Mr. Skeleton. Let me kill you. Okay. There we go. So, uh, how are you? I'm doing okay. I had a busy weekend. Didn't necessarily feel like I got a whole lot accomplished, but um, it was a very busy weekend, and it was busy doing a lot of stuff. I didn't. I didn't. This is actually my first time playing on the server all weekend long. Uh, it's Sunday night, and uh, I have to. I will have to go to work tomorrow. Not uh, something I'm super eager to do, but, you know, it is necessary. All right, so all this is slabbed, right, with these nether bricks. So stuff doesn't spawn here. And I have to start laying in slabs all over the place. So we got more over here. So let me just, let me lay down. I've got this... 
Where is the gas? So I can put down my crafting table here, make some more slabs with the nether bricks that I've got. Ugh, that's going to be a pain in the butt. Get over there. And we can just start slabbing. Oh. Uh, that gas makes me nervous, but I don't know where he is, so. So, let's see. Spent a lot of time working in our garden today, uh, this weekend, today and yesterday. It was, uh, we spent a lot of time planting more peppers. I have a collection of rather substantial collection of pepper plants now. Um, Got to keep an ear out for that ghast. So that's, that's cool. Uh, chili peppers are not something that I've been a big fan of until recently. And uh, I especially have found that they're very useful for making uh, curries. Oops. It's okay, I needed to put one there too. So I've been growing them and then I'll hopefully get enough. Last year I had uh, one particular plant. It was a Thai, Thai chili peppers that uh, really, really went well. Uh, I got a ton of peppers out of, out of the uh, plant. I don't want you there. Um, <clears throat> and that was, that was, it was kind of surprising. In fact, one of the Thai chili pepper plants that we, that I thought was a Thai chili pepper plant turned out to be, or I thought it was like a serrano. I thought it was a different type of uh, pepper. And it turned out to be this big, long, slender, uh, Thai peppers which were really good. They're, they're nice and hot and they grow like the Dickens. There's a ton of them. So I got all kinds of peppers out of that, which was great. And then, um, and then at the end of the season, I took all the leftover peppers that had, uh, sort of ripened on the vine. What is that noise? Oh, <laughs> I bet that was Barb riding my rail card. Okay. Wow, that was weird. Uh, what was I talking about? Thai peppers. So I, I took the, the leftover Thai peppers at the end of the season and I ground them up into, into flakes because they dried on the vine, basically. Yeah, so they were like sun-dried chili peppers. And I made chili powder, homemade chili powder that I put in sauces and anything that I want to have a little bit of spice to it. Um, it's really good. So we're growing more of those. Uh, I've got a, a variety of others, including some heirloom varieties that I'm hoping that we can uh, save some seeds from and and uh, and seed them, you know, sprout them next year. But uh, we will see about that. So right now, I only have, uh, I think it's one plant. It's an Anaheim chili that's that's got peppers on it already. It's pretty early. But obviously got pollinated at some point before we even got the, the seedling. Or at least I assume it did. Because it's got like four peppers on it already. So that's exciting. Uh, we will see how that goes. But... So yeah, we, uh, so I've got, I think I counted and have something like 17 pepper plants planted. And I got a backup of the one that I'm most interested in this year, which is a purple jalapeno, which has these beautiful purple flowers on it. Um, and the one that we got and planted is a little bit wilty and I'm not quite sure why, because it's planted in very similar situation to uh, all the others, but there's three of them. They're all planted right next to each other, and they're not doing so well. They're they're kind of droopy, and they're in same uh, same same raised bed uh, 
as as a bunch of the others and three of them in a row they're all planted right next to each other are are all droopy and wilty and the three next to it and the the next row over are all doing okay it's kind of weird so we went into the nursery where we got the plants asked for some advice and picked up another planter table because uh, I have most of them in a in a raised bed table which is kind of nice it's uh it's up at a height that's easy to deal with and it doesn't take a gargantuan amount of soil to fill the uh, the planter and and they still had some of the purple jalapenos so he just said yeah take another one and plant it somewhere else and see if it does any different because it could be the plant it could be the location it could be something with the soil in that particular spot it's hard to tell um there everyone's getting the same amount of water the drainage should be nice and consistent amongst all the plants in that <clears throat> in those planters um so it's and we got it in good soil so don't know it's a little strange but wow it's gotten a little quiet hasn't it so anyway um so we've done that i did uh had a little bit of work to do from home out of slabs and took care of that uh, went into crash space to help with an event that was going on and uh, also help install bandsaw which we got for the space so that was cool also somebody was having trouble with one of the 3d printers so i helped test or helped look at that and figure out why it wasn't working and because the nozzle was all clogged so i cleared up the clog and did a test print to make sure everything was cool so there's that and i am i'm super tired now <laughs> it's been it's been kind of a busy day didn't really do much cooking um there were some things that i wanted to do in terms of uh preparing oops for the week ahead didn't really get to do um did write a bunch of thank you emails to people who donated to my ms uh, my walk ms uh, fundraiser which i'm now at almost two thousand dollars raised which is awesome um and it's it's more than i was expecting to raise so i'm super thrilled and uh and it's everyone's been very generous so i'm very close to 2000 I'm like at $1,940 I think close to close to 2000 I'm in the top 30 individual fundraisers for the Los Angeles area which is exciting so um, I'm hoping we can do that and one th another thing I need to do is I need to figure out the live streaming setup so that I can I can actually do my live stream uh, walkathon in Minecraft, which I've been talking about for quite some time, uh, but that's something I want to do. And uh, so my plan is to set up a do it on a server, set up a server, and basically uh, start up a brand new world and do it in. I might. I don't know if I'll do it in hardcore or not. I, I was kind of thinking of doing it in hardcore mode so that if I die in the process, I just die and it's over and I have to start over. But the idea would be I start a brand new world, go to the uh, zero zero point in the in the center of the map and then start walking and walk 5,000 blocks do it from scratch do it from from nothing so have to in the process get food and any supplies that i need and at some point craft a bed so that i can sleep through the nights and then just in real time on stream just go and uh and walk 5000 blocks with starting with absolutely nothing 
Uh, I don't know how exciting that's going to be to watch, but I think it's it's interesting because the the uh, the walk event. Oh, my fire potion is out. Okay, keep that in mind. Uh, so the the walk event is a 5K, and each block in Minecraft is one meter, so it's 5,000 blocks would be five five kilometers. Um, so we'll see. It might actually be a whole lot easier than it seems like. Uh, or less interesting it's hard to tell but that's the plan um and i'll do some once i i figure out the streaming situation hello Uh, once I figure out the streaming situation, um, I downloaded OBS, which I think I need. I don't know. I've never done any live streaming before, so we will see. Um, and then uh, I will do some test streams and oops, see if we can uh, figure out the process. My The setup that I use for recording these videos is a little different from what I think I need. Uh, so we'll have to figure that out uh, I have an external monitor that I play on I'm thinking I might need a second monitor whoops or not just mirror it I don't I don't look at my laptop screen when I record these videos I just use the external monitor but I'll be able to, I'll want to be able to keep an eye on the on the stream and everything spooky sound There we go. So, uh, I don't know. That's all that is plans, and I need to figure that all out. Um, still, still planning on donating any uh, sales of my any of my albums on my Bandcamp, uh, but there haven't been any sales. But that's not surprising because I don't do a whole lot of promotion there, and. Franklin, uh, very. I've had very few lifetime sales of my music. I do it mostly as a as a uh, hobby, and I create stuff that I'm interested in. But it's weird music, and not a lot of people are into the same kind of music that I am. So anyway, um, yeah. So let me slab up this area. And then there's a couple new things on the server to show you. So let me do this and then we will go take a look at that. There's 14 golems in there now. So here we are back in the community area. And over here. Oh, Barb just logged off. So Eric Hulk, new player on the surfer, has been building a lot over here. Look at this. I saw this earlier, but look at this. I think it's like his uh, storage room. So he's keeping all stuff. Oh, diamonds. Six diamonds. A few things. And some iron. Um, yeah, so this is... Uh, oh. Oh, how do you get up that ladder with the chest saw block in it? Interesting. But, uh, yep. Just being nosy. But the second floor. More storage. Oh, Donkey Kong painting. Wood types. Very cool. And it's built several, several buildings, several houses. Turned this area into like a little village. And up over... And there's another little tiny one up on on the hillside right here. Oh, lots of sheep. Rah. So I don't know how far bed over there. I don't know how far he plans on going. This is pretty cool. Lots of activity going on.
And out farther this way we have Jungle and Mesa. And no one's really done anything in this part of the Mesa, but over here we have... There's a little pillar somebody built. But this is, this is an area that I've been doing some mining in. Uh, underground. Pete and Smash Smasher built this little thing here. And then this leads over to their base area. And they've been building out a lot of stuff too. So they got a little house. Oh, I don't know. Oh, doc, Doctor's been visiting. They've got some cows and stuff going on here too. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, skeleton horse. It has a saddle, so it's safe. Look at this. They're building out over there. They got Purper Farm. And they've got a whole bunch of farming stuff over there. So they're starting to build out a lot of cool stuff. What's down here? Horse. And they've got farms building out here. And what does the sign say? Lifeguard not on duty. Oh, we've got a diving board. Goes down into a little hole there. I don't think I've seen all this stuff myself. So we've got a little purple farm going here. And they've got a big area. Looks like a bullseye. Growing sugar cane down sugar cane down there. Oh, they got lots of dogs and cats, horses, skeleton horses. Yeah, I don't know what all this is. But what's in the center of the bullseye? There's a ladder. Where does this go? This probably goes down into their base. Let's see. Cave. There's a bed. Hi, kitty. More cave. Oh, goodness. Meow. Meow. Another ladder goes down. Gravel. And it goes nowhere. Okay. Interesting. So anyway, that's all the, that's all the stuff that I think I haven't seen on the server. But so lots of activity going on lately. I'm the only one right now, but it's been uh, quite a bit more more active lately. Sun's up. So there we go. Very cool. All right, well, I think that's it. And I don't have much else to show you. Ow. Come on, fly. There we go. And we will leave it at that. There we go. Anyway, this is Theron. This is the Minecraft Land Party server. And thank you for watching. And I will see you next time. All right, bye.